Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, gonna do a quick analysis here on Algorand. Ticker for this is Algo. And uh, right now I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Okay, uh, I've covered this coin several times in the past, but if you're new here, I'll just give you a broad view overview of the macro. So as you can see, we started down here at around nine cents. We made it all the way up to uh, over $3. And then we came all the way back down to about nine, about eight cents actually. Um, I mention this pretty much every time I take a look at the Algorand chart, but if and when you get another opportunity to sell up here at $3, you should probably take it because this is the fate of pretty much every coin during the bear market. I know it's easy to get caught up in a moment and when your coin's pumping, you think you're a genius, you think you just found, you know, the technology that's going to change the world. And that may be true, but it's still going to sell off. So if you like it that much, you're better off selling anywhere around here and then rebuying down here whenever the lows of the bear market are again. Okay, so as you see, I have these uh, levels marked. So the first one right here was based on the low of these candle bodies and we have broken out above that. Now the next one, it's gonna be right here at the low of these candle bodies and that's around, not far off from where we are right now, it's around 0 0.1654. So actually we wicked right up to it and then we had a pullback. So I'll show you that here on the four hour time frame. See, we came up and then we had a sell off from uh, that 16 cent level all the way down here to about 15.5. And now we're heading back up to uh, have another crack at it. So actually what I want to look for now, uh, not the greatest sign, but this is just a four hour time frame. But as you can see, the price is making a higher high and the uh, oscillator, we're putting in a bearish divergence. So you see here on the uh, divergence indicator, we have a high, then we have a lower high and that's uh, conflicting with the price action. So not necessarily what we want to see at a strong resistance level, but I've already exited my short term trade on Algorand. And what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to sit back and wait to see if we're able to close a weekly candle body above this resistance, that's going to be confirmation uh, for me that we're going to have further upside. Until then, I'm not shorting. Obviously, this is a bullish chart. We've broken out of a multi-year uh, falling wedge pattern. The midterm target based on the break of this uh, falling wedge pattern is all the way up here at around 50 cents. So yeah, I'm not looking to short right now. I'm just waiting. I'm taking longs and then exiting them at uh, these resistance levels. And then if we close a weekly candle above it, that's when I'm going to re-enter my position. Okay, so this is the level to watch right now. 16.5, 0 0.1651. Of course, I would recommend if you're going to trade Algorand that you just take a horizontal trend line or horizontal ray and just paste it at the low of these candle bodies here. Okay, the next level uh, based on the price action, if you look left here, you see we had this long-term level of support. And then when the price broke below it, we came back up and we got rejected from it. And right here would have been an excellent time to enter a short position because we had confluence, right? We had the horizontal level of resistance, which converged with this downsloping level of resistance from the top line of the falling wedge. So right here, amazing short play. And whoever entered here likely had a very profitable trade. Okay, so this level is about 28 cents. So uh, take a horizontal ray or horizontal trend line, however you want to do it, and just paste it below uh, these candle bodies right here. Now you'll notice that I have this little box. So to me, this is a range. So based on the price action, I have this level of resistance here. However, the Fibonacci retracement is showing me a resistance at 0 0.3245. So between 28 cents and between 32 cents, uh, this is my resistance range. So to show you how I got that, I'll just take a fib, run it from the, uh, the high down to the low here. You see, this is the 3A2. So what this tells me is that if I were to take a short based on this price level, I need to make sure my stop loss is above this Fibonacci retracement level. But as I just mentioned, I'm not really looking to take any short positions right now. I'm just entering longs and then exiting my long positions, my short term long positions at the resistance levels. And then if we close weekly candles above them, that's when I re-enter and target the next level up. Next level beyond that, we have the 50% retracement level and uh, that's around 50%. And I mentioned that this 50% level is the breakout target for this falling wedge. And how I got that, I just measured the distance from uh, the top line of the wedge down to the low and then I projected it from the breakout point and that takes us right to this 50% level. So I find it interesting that we have confluence uh, with this breakout target and the Fibonacci retracement. Next level up beyond that, we have the golden pocket zone between the 618 and the 65%. And this pretty much lines up perfectly, this 618, with this uh, former level of support right here. So you see, um, these are week-long candles, so this served as a level of support for a few months. So obviously, if we come back up to it, just based on the price alone, you're likely going to have a lot of sellers stepping in. However, now that we have confluence with the 618 retracement, it makes the level even more powerful. Okay, so I'll get rid of the Fibonacci. And yeah, this is what I'm looking for right now. We're at resistance. I'm definitely not looking to take a long. As I mentioned, we are showing a bearish divergence on a shorter time frame right at this resistance level. Let me see on the uh, on the daily. 
four hour definitely uh, bearish divergence so you see here we have a high and then we have a higher high in the price let's look what the oscillators are doing more of the same um however we do appear to be uh, turning back up so it might be okay uh the stochastics yeah definitely bearish divergence on the stochastics i'm just going to play the waiting game i want to see what happens here not shorting and i will re-enter uh, my position if we close a weekly candle above this line again around 16.5 I think we're entering the phase of the market where these altcoins are really going to start ripping, right? Because as you can see, full-on retracement, falling wedge breakout, impulsive move off the breakout. And a lot of these altcoins are looking the same. We're changing the uh, long-term trend. So that's good news. And the uh, timing is right as we are just a few months away from the halving. And I think the uh, decision for the Bitcoin ETFs are in January. So yeah, this recent uh, swing in the market does have some fundamentals backing it. So I think that pretty much sums it up for Algo. Actually, one more thing I want to show you. I just pointed out that we are having some uh, bearish divergence forming on the four hour time frame, but on this longer time frame on the weekly, which is much more uh, powerful, right around here when we had this full retrace and we were in this accumulation range, look at the uh, look at the oscillator. So big, strong bullish divergence right here. That was a preemptive sign that uh, the market was going to turn. And then obviously right around here when we broke, when this candle body closed above this downsloping level of resistance, I made a video right on this breach and I said that, yeah, Algorand's likely going to run. And here we are up at the first major target. So yeah, exciting times in crypto. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did smash a like button, if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release new content, click subscribe and then uh, click the bell icon and then click on all. If you don't do those last two steps, you're not going to get notified when I release uh, new videos. And considering the fact that the market's getting a little bit more exciting now, you probably want to uh, get notified because I'm going to try to do about two videos a day. And whenever I see something interesting on a chart, if I see something that's in a process of breaking out, I'm going to try to get a video out quickly. And yeah, if you're interested in getting notified when I release that video, then yeah, just click the bell icon. Also, if you want a place to trade Algo on pretty much any of the other coins I talk about on this channel, I put the link to three different exchanges in both the pinned comment and the description. All three of them are offering you guys sign-up bonuses. However, there's only one of them that will uh, let you trade, deposit, withdraw, do everything without going through a KYC process. And that's the one that I have linked at the top. It's called BingX. And they're currently offering a deposit bonus of up to $5,000. However, in order to get that, you obviously have to deposit a lot. And disclaimer, I say this in pretty much every video now, I don't recommend that you keep a large percentage of your uh, crypto balance on any centralized exchange. The majority of your crypto holdings, especially right now, should be uh, stored away on a hardware wallet and then just take a, a smaller percentage of that to trade with. But yeah, really good bonuses on all those exchanges uh, through the links below. Anyway, that's about it for now. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.